Sup? DJ Doobie, obviously, obviously. Want to make another quick video. Um, just want to show off real quick some of the visual aspects of Virtual DJ. I know the first videos have been all Virtual DJ. I want to make some videos on my favorite program to DJ with, which is Tractor Pro 2. I'm just going over some of the things that I like about Virtual DJ. If you're already a DJ, you know everything it can do already. I'm just showing people that are either new to it or they're getting into it. Some of the capabilities that the program has. Before I go into that, I want to show something else off. Regardless of uh, what you use to DJ as far as your software choice, whatever your preferences are. If you are a DJ using a Windows-based computer, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, DJ Tech Tools, one of my favorite websites, made a little optimizer that you can run. And I just need to find out where I left it at. Okay, there we go. So they call it the DJ Tech Tools Pro Audio Optimizer. So if you go on djtechtools.com, look that up. It's a script or a batch file, basically, that automates a, a task for you. Basically, a Windows computer has all kinds of services running in the background that you do not need. It doesn't have to be running in the background. So this thing just goes through and turns off all that stuff that you don't need. It comes up with three options, optimize, restore, quit. Of course, you don't need to restore because you haven't run the optimizer yet. So go ahead and hit the number one option for optimize. It does everything for you. It says optimizing your computer now. When it's done here, it says your PC has been optimized. And then you have two choices, restore everything back the way it was or press 2 to quit. Press 2 to quit. Boom, it's done. I'll bring up the task manager. It'll it'll save a little bit on the PC, uh, on the CPU usage. You know, it'll help you out, especially if you have a computer tower like mine right now. I, I don't use a laptop to DJ with. I use a computer tower. And um, it helps out. I've noticed that I've, I've got a little bit better CPU usage. It uses less of the resources. Frees up more of the resources for the thing that you want to do with the computer, which is DJ. So, right now it's jumping around. It's at 14%. It was just on 0% a moment ago. So. If I added more RAM to the computer or if it had a faster processor, I wouldn't have any of those problems at all anyway. But That's neither here nor there. Let's fire up Virtual DJ. And let's go into video. Haven't focused a lot on video. <clears throat> now what I will do is move the camera here. we just got a little bit more of a view of the second monitor where the video is going to show up at. And I'm going to aim my camera down a little bit here so it can show you the controller. The controller is going to manipulate video just like audio. It doesn't care what you're filtering through it. If you've got a display set up to display this, like I showed you before, this screen can actually spin around and point towards the crowd. Or you can run a cable from your computer and run a projector or a larger LCD screen or multiple LCD screens. Monitor I got off of Craigslist because I'm Poe. Monitor I got off my good friend Adam. He cut me a good deal because he knows I'm Poe. Uh, let's go into the... I was just practicing this a minute ago before I made the video. So these were the videos that I brought up as examples. On deck A, I've loaded up Party Rock. Or not Party Rock, I'm thinking of that new song. Planet Rock by African Bambata. And if I bring the crossfader over right now, it's just by default it's showing a visualization on the screen. If I bring it all the way over, it's going to start showing the video. <laughs> And that was really loud. It's uh, after 2 a.m. in the morning here, so my neighbors probably didn't appreciate that. What I, what I wanted to show off real quick is that you can manipulate audio just like you manipulate, or manipulate video just like you manipulate, manipulate audio. I need to go to bed. But if you grab the wheel and scratch it, you get the same effect on the audio that you would. And now you have the added bonus of the video being able to do funky stuff while you're doing that. You can bring the crossfader over. Let's see if I grab another song and put it in deck B. You can bring the crossfader over. You can go back and forth between the two videos. And you can manipulate using cue points just like 
in the previous video I showed you where you can set up cue points on different phrases or different beats. I'm going to show you more in different videos. There's different visual aspects. We just got into it just a little bit. I just want to keep these videos short so I don't lose people's attention spans. Hopefully somebody will get something from these. I just feel like being educational for some reason. I don't know if I'm being very educational, but hopefully you're getting something from it. But uh, That's it for this video. Catch you later. Peace.